What is going on you guys, my name is Janu and today we'll be doing a quick video tutorial on how to optimize Ring of Elysium. So before we begin, I would like to let you guys know that I have an NVIDIA graphics card, which means that if you have an AMD graphics card, you don't have to worry, I'll be giving out another tutorial with both AMD and NVIDIA graphics card later on this video. So let's go ahead and start. So all you have to do is right click go to nvidia control panel wait for it to pop up and once it pops up i want you to click on configure surround physics so once you've done that click on physics settings processor so you'll be given three options auto select recommended geforce is the extent 63 gigabyte which means if you have a different graphics card i want you to click on that one and cpu so i'll be clicking on this one since this is my graphics card and it should appear here a button which will give you to which will give you an option to click on apply so after that i want you to go to manage 3d settings so after clicking that there are two settings global and program so i want you to click on program okay so once it loads up i want you to click on add so if you have already installed the ring of elysium game you should be you should a you should see an option where it says europa so click on europa go to add selected program so follow on my mouse so go to settings i'll be scrolling down so i want you to turn off vertical sync first because what this does is that it limits your fps making it smaller so go to threaded optimization and leave this as on for texture filtering quality i want you to click on this and go choose high performance so basically just follow all these black highlighted uh, options so for power management i want you to click on that one and click on prefer maximum performance so we can get the most out of our graphics card so for open gl rendering gpu i want you to click on this and select your graphics card and also for maximum pre-rendered frames i want you to click on this and choose one so basically that is it and once you open up your ring of elysium and you're still lagging this is another option that we can do so i want you to click on your computer find your find the game ring of elysium so basically uh it's you'll see in you'll see a garena folder here and click on games and click on this folder so you should be able to see an option where it says europa client and game file system so if you're running on a windows 10 i want you to click right click on game file system click properties and then click on compatibility so after doing that you go and click compatibility mode run this program compatibility for windows 7 okay so after that go to europa client right click on it properties and then i already have this set here for windows 7 as well and also you can try to override high dpi scaling behavior since for me i gained 5 fps for this one okay so this will work on both amd and nvidia graphics card okay so both of europa client and game file system and if you open it and still you don't see any difference on your fps this is the third option that i can provide to you so i'm gonna provide you a link on the description down below this is the link that we'll be using so what does this link do it will download a file where it will make your graphics into the lowest that it can which means that the shadow quality will be at its lowest and also the grass quantity will be very small because the grass quantity is very heavy on this game as well so i'll be clicking on this and i'll make you i'll make you i'll make sure that you guys i'll assure that this does this file does not have any virus so i'll download this myself as well so that i'll be posting on the, the link I, I will click on it okay so this is the file what i'm going to do is right click and scan with windows defender as you can see this file does not have a virus on it so there's no need to worry about that one 
so after downloading it I want you to click on this file it's called the EU system settings config current copy this and then paste it on your desktop make sure to paste it somewhere far away from the file from the files to make sure that you won't get confused with the files because there will be two files that are the same so I want you to click on your computer go to the Garena file for this game click on games okay so once you're in here this is the files that you should see basically the same as before Europa client and game file system so I want you to click on user data and as you can see uh, this will be the file that we'll be replacing I apologize for the sudden cut everyone uh, back to the video so uh, since we're here already this is the file the EU system settings config current and this is what we downloaded earlier uh, from the link that I provide to you so we're gonna do and scan it again with Windows Defender okay so this is the original file so I want to we have to back up this file first before pasting this one because there is a possibility that it it might give you an error so it's good that we have a backup here for the original file so now we're gonna drag it here and we're gonna be deleting this one and we'll be posting the downloaded file here back to our folder okay since we already have that one I want you to close this one and I already have logged into your Garena account I already have mine here so I'm gonna pull up my my game here rules of Elysium so please bear with me okay so it's currently loading and while it's loading I want you guys to click on task manager and then once you've done that go to details you can see two options here game file system and Europa client exe I want you to cl right click on game file system and then go to set priority click on this and click high change priority okay okay perfect so we already have the game here itself we're loading in and I'll go and change it to full screen we'll be doing a quick gameplay test for this one While we're currently waiting, we can also change the resolution to the lowest that it can be. So uh, since my graphics card can handle this game, I'm just setting it to default. Okay, and as you can see, I'm getting around 60 FPS now. Before, I was only able to gain up to 40. So, this definitely helped my PC. So, let's do a quick dive here. Apologize for my gameplay as well. I'm not very good with this game. This is actually my second game.
playing so that's the gameplay that we have i hope you enjoyed my video be sure to like and subscribe and see you soon